All right, we're back. Here we go now. Requested by, I'm pretty sure it was Tony. Mike, who do you take at the end of the careers? Lamar Jackson or Michael Vick? When it's all said and done, who do you think it's, is going to be the better quarterback? It's early right now, but if I had to go with one, I'm going to take Mike Vick just because I don't know if Lamar can consistently do what he did this year. He had a historic year. Absolutely no doubt about it. But do I think he can keep it up? I think it's going to be tough. In that AFC North, there's, there's that Steelers defense that's tough. I think teams are going to figure out Lamar Jackson. I think Lamar Jackson, if he keeps running the ball as much as he's running the ball, is going to get injured. So I think there's a lot of things that factor into it. And that the only reason why he can, he can have a better career than Michael Vick. He easily can. Because honestly, Michael Vick's career, the numbers aren't, aren't, aren't amazing. But do I think he will after a second season? No. I got to see a little more. People are going to disagree with me here because Lamar Jackson's the, the hot thing out there. Everyone loves him because of what he just did. But you got to take into consideration. It's hard to play a game in the NFL. It's hard to keep getting hit and keep succeeding. I think if you put Michael Vick in the Ravens offense this year, he has a better season than Lamar had. Just because Vick never once in his career had an offense built around him to run the football. It wasn't When he played, it wasn't quarterbacks didn't run the ball like they're running the ball now. I think Vic's career could have even been better. Yeah, I hear you. Uh, here's what here's what I'm going to say, though. I, I I do think it's going to be Lamar Jackson when it's all said and done. The man threw for 3,127 yards this season. <clears throat> Michael Vick's very best in all the years he's played was only 3,303. So, I mean, Lamar was only 200 yards shy of that. Yeah, I told Vic's numbers aren't exactly, but Vic missed a couple of prime years when he got in trouble with the dog yep. fighting thing. Not making any excuses. He made his mistakes. You, when you make your bed, you got to sleep in it. Yep. But I'm um, saying, he missed prime years. Again, right. though, uh, Lamar Jackson threw for 36 touchdowns this season. Michael Vitt's best season, he only threw for 21 yep. touchdowns, which is absolutely disgusting, in my opinion. I mean, Can I go, you yes, go ahead. Not at the time. Yep. It's a running league, then. Yep. Not at the time. Troy Aikman's a Hall of Famer. Look, I bet you Troy Aikman topped out at about 21 touchdowns. It was a running league. Yep. I hear you. It wasn't but again, an air raid league. Like right just, now, what's the NFL? You're right. I hear you. It's but here's, here's the league. thing. You just said that Lamar Jackson runs the ball a lot, which I he understand. Does. But how does he still have the passing numbers that Vic has and then some? V Lamar Jackson's able to do it two ways. I bet he can you run threw the ball more this year. Throw. He may have. I mean, we got to look up the exact numbers. I don't look up attempts. I bet you did. But here's what you got to look at. He has 36 touchdowns and six interceptions, which yeah, is absolutely very, phenomenal. Very phenomenal. Ran for 1,206 yards. Vic's best season of all of them, 1,039. That, that, but that, that was where, crazy. That's yep. crazy on the amount of carry. Vic was averaging almost nine yards a carry. I mean, you got to look up what Lamar averaged. I don't it, know his average. It wasn't. I have it. Hold on. But then you look at. Want, want me, want yeah, me that, Lamar averaged 6.9 yards a carry. Vic averaged 8.5 yards a carry. If Michael Vick touches the ball as much as Lamar Jackson does that year, he, he outruns them by a ton. I, yeah, I don't know if that's always true, though. Sometimes I do know it's true, and I know if you, put Mike, if you take Michael Vick at, his, at Lamar's age and you put him in the Ravens system, he outperforms Lamar Jackson. Here's my problem with Michael Vick, and we keep on saying it over and over again. I, I just might I don't know I don't think he had what it takes. I mean you he just is, see Lamar back when Mike Vick played, man, linebackers weren't built to stop a running quarterback. Nowadays, there's no more big bulky offenses linebackers. Weren't built for quarterbacks I mean, to run either. So there wasn't a designed play for Vic to run. Vic just did it on his own. I just feel Lamar like, Jackson, John Harbaugh has set up Lamar Jackson to succeed, succeed, succeed. Vic did not have that. Vic didn't have weapons around him. Vic did it on his own. I I, I'm gonna be honest with you. I don't running. think I don't think Lamar has weapons around him. He doesn't, him. but he's got he's, he's got better weapons than Michael Vick had. I don't Atlanta. know if that's always true. This is what I'm gonna say here. Lamar Jackson, he is 19 and three as a quarterback. Vick was 61, 51 and one. That's not a promising record. Michael Vick, he was the top of the line at his time because he was the first real running running quarterback that we've seen that could put up a thousand yards rushing. But I feel like Lamar Jackson just outgoals him in every step of the way. And again, this was only year two of Lamar. I feel like his numbers are only going to go up. Go ahead. I don't think I think they're going to go down from here. But I'll tell you what. I know Vic's numbers won't tell you, but Vic was a better, a lot better thrower of the football than Lamar Jackson is. A lot better. I agree with him throwing the football. I think that stronger arm, more accurate arm. Right now, yes. 
And I think, honestly, this is an unpopular opinion. I think he's just as fast, or if not faster, and I think he's just as athletic, if no. not more athletic. I, that's than where Lamar I disagree. Jackson. I feel like Lamar Vic Jackson. Was, Vic was clocked running a four-two-five in game. You show me game film of Lamar Jackson running I, I've a four-two-five. I've four, never seen two, five. Vic out juke the people. I have. I've seen I him have. these Vic. big. Hunky linebackers, but I've never seen Lamar Vic Jackson. They played in an era of football where they could hit you, and they're not a yellow flag's not going to come flying. I, I hear all that, but Mike, I've ne nowadays teams defenses are known. I mean, there's been so many running quarterbacks since Vic that you got to stop the running quarterback. Defenses are prepared. When Vic came out, no defense was prepared. It was something new. Vic was able to run. There, like you there said, were, there wasn't designed run plays for Vic, but defenses weren't designed to stop the running quarterback. And for Lamar, they're coming in saying, we got to stop Lamar. And they're still not able to stop Lamar Jackson. It's because of their yep. head coach. It's because the plays they're writing up for. They could stop Vic a little bit. And honestly, they couldn't. But they could stop Vic a little bit because there wasn't designed quarterback run plays. I hear you. I just, man. And the quarterbacks, it was frowned upon to run. Like, there I were just, guys before Vic, like Randall Cunningham. There were runners before Vic. But I, I, Mike, so I, I look at him throwing the football. Was. I'm not saying he doesn't have a better, more talented arm. He had one season where he was a starter, where he threw over 60% completion percentage. Lamar Jackson, in his career, already had 63.7 completion uh, completion percentage in his career. Last season, he threw over 66.1%. Michael Vick had one season over 60%. That is horrific. You can't have a quarterback throwing in the 50 percentage. That means you're going to make a throw, you're going to miss a throw, you're going to make a throw, you're going to miss a throw. That's not what you need. I understand he had the running ability, but I feel like Lamar Jackson has the throwing and running ability to be better than Michael Vick. Do I think he he's a pure be better. better thrower? Do will be? No. no. Do I think he's a better runner? Absolutely. No. And I think Lamar can build his game, too. This was only year two. If they really focus on him passing the ball, I absolutely feel like this dude could be a two-headed monster and be very, we, very scary. you both know that his 36 touchdowns, were to wide, mo, not all of them, I'm not going to sit here and say that. A lot of them were to wide open receivers by, because of the play action, because of the play call by their coach. I, but I think it's just because you, they You gotta, know, he, he is not out there throwing receivers open. We, we can I both say you. that yep. and put that on the table. Yep. Look, Lamar Jackson is throwing the ball to open wide but receivers. But here's my question to you. I, 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 let's forget about the play calling. Why are the defenses so scared of Lamar? Because they're scared, I mean, they're scared of the offense. They've they got to stop Harbaugh. Lamar. Harbaugh won a Super Bowl Here's with my, Joe right. Flacco. Yep. The play calling has an absolute ton to Here's do. my question to you. If it was Deshaun Watson behind there, or, or let's say a Carson Wentz, It'd be would, they, would, they, would the receivers be that open? No. It'd Why be, are they open? Well, be because they've got to stop Lamar because he's such you, a monster. But it's because of the scheme. If, if John Harbaugh had... Carson Wentz or Deshaun Watson, it'd be a completely different game. game. Yeah, exactly. That's my point. But the Lamar, reason this why is the only offense in football Lamar Jackson is going to succeed like this way. Yeah, but why is he able to succeed? Because he's good in two he's areas. He's good in two areas, and, and his and coach is a genius. He's, good in, he's great in one area, and he's average in another area. Yeah, I hear, he's average I agree in the passing area. Yep. He's great in a running area. John Harbaugh... His play call confuses defenses, which makes him look better in yep. the passing area but I than he like actually is. The only reason why, I mean, you can take Deshaun Watson and the defense won't have to really step up like that. Why? Because Deshaun Watson can't do what Lamar Jackson can do. That's my point. The reason why defenses are playing Lamar differently is because Lamar is that extra he, yeah, step. Run, I agree with run. John Harbaugh. John Harbaugh helps Lamar. But if it wasn't John for Harbaugh Lamar... John makes Lamar Jackson. I, I, I just, mean, that's going to be a... People yeah, I, are not gonna like that. We're gonna, but it's yeah. the truth. John Harbaugh makes Lamar Jackson yeah. who he is. I mean, I really like the play calls. John Harbaugh really designed the offense around. I agree with you. But again, if you take any other quarterback in the lead right now and you say, "Hey, come in this system and do it," defenses won't be scared so, of him. I'll tell you, what Lamar thing. can juke out a cornerback. He can outrun corners. Uh, out. He can out juke linebackers. He can. He's fast enough to go up a hole and get away from the defense tackles. The dude is single-handedly absolutely yeah, well, dominating. Just take the stat sheets and throw the stats away. I don't care what the stats look like. I'll tell you a fact. Lamar Jackson cannot beat a team unless it's like the Jets with his arm. We saw it against the Tennessee Titans in the playoffs. We saw it yep. the, the prior year. When he is forced to throw the football, they do not win. Yeah, I, and that's I, a, Michael Vick could beat a team with his arm. Yeah, I, look, here's the thing about especially Vick especially later in his career. I just see when I see one season over sixty percent, that scares me. 
the reason why Lamar's is higher is because I think he has a crazy running ability. He throws shorter passes. Vic's throwing the, was throwing the ball down. Here's my thing to you. I really uh, this is the one point I do agree with you, and I've said this multiple times with you. I feel like Lamar Jackson needs to work on his throwing because yeah, I mean he he's not a hundred percent there yet. But everything for a second year quarterback that had to be shown, I think has been shown and then some. I truly feel like at the end of the day we will be seeing Lamar Jackson ahead of Vic in, in every statistical category easily. And I think all of us will be saying, you know what, Lamar Jackson was better than Michael Vick by the end of their careers. That's all, I think, for this episode. We're going to go back one more. we got one more segment coming up for you guys. Stay tuned. We'll be right back.